Okay, guys, with that down, let's do another off the top, and that is this. Some of you may have seen recently that the Good Place actor, uh, William Jackson Harper, uh, from The Good Place. Good Place is a wonderful little show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. my wife got obsessed with it. It was actually quite good. But they just announced recently a very odd announcement that he was joining the cast of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The reason that's odd is because they finished shooting this film months ago. So it's not often you hear about additional casts later on, which leads to the understandable speculation that we're talking about an actor being added for something that's going to be a post credit scene or something like that. Not necessarily. Could be something else that they edit into the film later on. There's a world of possibilities. But one of the big theories going around right now is that William Jackson Harper is going to be Reed Richards. That, that is what a lot of people are assuming right now. Now, let me tell you why this isn't the craziest theory. All right. There's a couple of reasons why this isn't the craziest theory. Number one is that if it is a last second thing that they've brought in to do a post credit scene or something like that, the possibility of him playing somebody significant in the MCU for a post credit scene, that's reasonable. It's, it's a reasonable thing to assume that doesn't automatically mean it's true at all, but that's, it's not unreasonable to think that. Well, with Kang being there and with it being the quantum realm and all that kind of stuff, and we know Fantastic Four is coming soon. The idea that it could be a character from Fantastic Four is also not a completely unreasonable thing to assume. So I, I get that. On top of that, when you... <laughs> now, this becomes typecasting, but when you look at his character on The Good Place, he's a smart boy. Like, he's he's a, a bookworm. He's And he plays that real well. And Reed Richards is supposed to be the smartest being in the universe. So... I mean, to get a guy who can play that kind of stuff while also, you know, bringing his own senses and his own, you know, idiosyncrasies and all that kind of stuff to a role, it's not a completely unreasonable thing. Now, of course, there are going to be some people that say, well, wait a minute, Reed Richards is white, uh, he's black, true, but the, the Reed Richards is one of those characters to me that Reed Richards being white has nothing to do with this character. Uh, which is, you know, some characters, it is, you know, T'Challa, that, you know, his his ethnicity is key to the character. That's important. I think Bruce Wayne, it's, you know, growing up with a lot of rich white privilege. Mm -hmm. I think him being a white actor is actually quite important. But I think like 95% of characters out there, their skin color has absolutely zero bearing on the nature of the character. So that could be here. Now, with all that said, do I think that William Jackson Harper is our new Reed Richards? No. No, I, I, uh, for the main reason that I don't think they would typecast him like that just because he played a smart guy before. It doesn't right. mean he can be a smart, he'll, he'll play a smart guy here. But the other thing is too, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I do not think they're going to slip Fantastic Four characters into the MCU. The Fantastic Four, I think, are going to arrive in the MCU in a big, bold way. And it ain't going to be as a post-credit scene. It's not going to be something like that. Now you can say, but John, they've introduced Thanos in a post-credit scene in the first Avengers movie. So, yeah, they did. But I don't think they're going to do that with Fantastic Four. So while I don't think you're crazy, because I won't die a shock if we find out this is true. And so I certainly don't think you're crazy if you believe this. I'm just saying for now, unless I see a lot more real credible evidence, it's not a theory I personally buy into. Rob, you hear about this. What do you think the chances are? Guys, we want to take a moment and thank a sponsor of today's video, Wondery, and their new podcast, the official Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power podcast. Guys, it's time to go deeper into the canals of Numenor, the mines of Khazad-dûm, and more with the official The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power podcast. Host Felicia Day and several special guests provide an inside look at the groundbreaking series and what it took to bring Middle-earth to life. Each episode of the official podcast features exclusive interviews with the series showrunners J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, including the very first full breakdown of the incredible season finale. Felicia also goes behind the scenes with the cast and crew to bring you jaw-dropping stories and Easter eggs that you won't want to miss. So watch The Rings of Power on Prime Video and listen to all eight episodes of the official The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power podcast for free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app now. Probably not. I mean, just because an actor plays a bookish 
smart guy in one role doesn't mean they're going to cast him. I mean, I never saw Reed, Reed Richards as bookish or, it, you know what? It's funny. When I was a kid, my favorite movie in the world was the original War of the Worlds. And there's a scientist, the main character is a scientist, Dr. Clayton Forrester. When I was a kid, I always believed that Reed Richards, if somebody ever made a movie, would have to be just like Clayton Forrester. <laughs> you know, because he was kind of this hunky dude that knew everything. And you, you have to let Washington know. You know, I always speak about the Martians coming. And and yet, I mean, I, it, race to me doesn't matter. You you could you could make Reed Richards black. That wouldn't bother me. But I still see Reed Richards as a strapping, handsome. Like if he needs to fight, he's not just a guy that can fight because he has stretchy powers. I mean, he's a dude that he knows how to fight too. Like I believe that he took. He's probably an MMA fighter, just because he knows stuff. He wants to learn how things work. He would be really into the physics of fighting. Like. How can you punch best? I always thought that Reed Richards was that guy. So I, I, I mean, he could this. It could be that way. But I have to disagree with you about one thing. Oh, what's that? I could see them the 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 final, like the final uh, post credit scene of Quantum Mania. They discover all of the Fantastic Four imprisoned somewhere in Chronopolis. Mm. That they've been that and, and that they walk in and they've been in there since the nineteen fifties. Who knows? Yes, that's been, not you know what that's yes. not a bad theory. You know that's the, not a bad and, theory. And it was the Fantastic Four. They went up in their rocket. It was one of the first rock, and they were lost. No one ever saw them again. And so, if Ant Man, it would be it would be, and you have Michael Douglas going. You're Reed Richards, and that's that's the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. And they're all sitting there in jail, and no one knows who they are except. Hank Pym. That would be. Uh, I mean, I'd be like, ah. Oh. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't either. But, but I but, love the theory. Uh, I, mean, I love if that you theory. Did that, that's the only way. That I is could... a way. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying that you won't bring them in. As, but if, if they did it that way in a post credit scene, that would kind of be smashing down the wall. And I, no, I mean, yeah, no one that. else knows who they are except it's Hank Pym who knows who they are. Because he, and they just disappeared. That's why nobody knows who they are. Yep. Because you've the the, the the idea that they were I mean early sixties make them late fifties the product of the atomic age and they they have the, but no one ever saw them again. Chris, what do you think about this particular theory that's going around that William Jackson Harper could be Reed Richards? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think there's credibility to this? None at all. What do you think? I mean, I think anything's possible because we haven't solidified that John Krasinski is Reed moving forward. He was one iteration of him, right? So it could be William Jackson Harper. It could be Rock Coley, who I would love to see in this role. I think he'd do an excellent job. It could be anybody. And, and to Rob's point too, I mean, Reed also isn't just this kind of like bumbling nerd that we've seen sometimes with depictions of scientists in in early day comic books he's somebody who dabbles in the morally gray he was a member of the illuminati yeah. he made some really tough very despicable choices at times honestly in theory for the greater good so i think it'd be really interesting to have somebody who always talked about philosophy coming in and have that kind of little easter egg for all of us because also, he, Chidi wasn't just, you know, the philosophy bookish guy. As the show goes on, we see that he is this very leading man type, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. El yeah. Eleanor Shellstrop is constantly objectifying that boy. Um, and, you know, I'd love to have William and have Jamil in the MCU now, have all the good place people come through. I <laughs> think that'd be really Ted nice. dancing in there somewhere. Right? <laughs> we had Tahini. Let's get Chidi in here, too. I think that'd be really, really fun. And I also love Rob's idea. We talked about this on uh, Weekly Hero on our one of our issues. Um, there's an already self-contained story that would be so great for the Fantastic Four to just kind of burst onto the scene. Yeah. Um, so I do love that. Because I'm not sure if we would just go, and here is this member of the Fantastic Four, like like people are suggesting right now of just, oh, this tertiary character right now will be bigger later. I don't Plus, know if how, we'll do that. how great would it be like they've battled their way through Chronopolis or whatever, and they find, this, they find somewhere they're not supposed to be yeah, but now we're talking about Fantastic yeah. Four in general, yeah, not, know. About, I know. not about not his casting. So I just want to see that happen. It, it no. could be interesting. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Do you think he could be our new Reed Richards? If so, I mean, he's a fun actor. I'd, I'd be totally fine with what they did, but I don't believe the theory. But I don't think you're crazy if you do. And anyway, whatever you guys think about that, jump down into the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.